Hi everyone, this is Ava at Glow with Ava and welcome to my channel. So today I come to you from my hotel bathroom that we decided to do a little very special um, staycation just with my family. I think given this year there's been a lot that's happening. Um, all my travel plans have been canceled, so I think the new trend is kind of staying like one or two nights at a local hotel. Um, and even coming to Korea was already a vacation slash big trip for me. Um, but for my family, I wanted to spend more time. So we decided to come to the Walker Hotel in Seoul. It's one of our favorites. Uh, the food is delicious here as well. So while we spend the night here, I decided to, to kind of show you guys a very simple skincare routine, kind of mainly focusing on a lot of the skincare products that I have been testing and trying out during my stay in Korea. And it's just been so exciting because Korea is obviously like this heaven of all things skincare and beauty. So it's been just non-stop wanting to buy and purchase every single thing I see on the market. And also it's been cool seeing so many of the new launches that have been coming out. Um, so I just wanted to kind of share with you guys my simple, very simple skincare routine actually, because as you can see, I really don't have that much makeup on today at all. And during my stay um, in Korea, and especially since I've been active, I wear my mask all day long. So given the fact that I'm wearing a mask all the time, I really don't see a need to wear that much makeup. I don't want my makeup to smudge. And if I do wear a lot of makeup, I tend to get um, a lot more acne and breakouts. So, so it's all about the really minimal makeup that's also easy to wash up. But as always, cleansing is the most important step, especially right now, if you don't have a proper cleansing routine, I feel like that is the easiest way for me to break out as well. So I have some new products that I have been testing lately here. All products that I've been testing since my stay in Korea and quickly falling in love. So first off, we're going to start off with the Sior's Cleansing Oil. I'm usually not a big fan of cleansing oils. I don't really talk about um, it at all because I usually only use cleansing balms, but this cleansing oil is so, so gentle and cleanse off your makeup nicely. So what I like doing with this cleansing oil is actually just giving myself a nice massage with it and doing like a little lifting massage. And usually when I do this with other cleansing oils, my skin tends to react, especially as I start to put pressure um, on my face. But I just start applying like this. You can apply it over your eye makeup as well. Personally, I haven't seen any kind of sensitivity um, to that. And especially because I don't wear that much eye makeup right now. Like I just do a little bit of eyeshadow and mascara. That's pretty much it. So I usually just rub this in instead of going in with a separate micellar water. This is pretty um, gentle enough to do that. So I just do a little bit of lymphatic massage. The one thing I like doing is just going in with knuckles and giving my jaw a little massage for the jawline. I mean, honestly, I've been eating so much in Korea. It's like been non-stop, non-stop eating. So since I don't want that to show on my face, I've been doing this religiously every night when I'm cleansing and also kind of doing that on like my forehead area. Let's just do that and then that I feel like just broke down a lot of the makeup and SPF that I had on earlier so I'm just going to wash this off first now. Alright, so this is my true bare face after just one step of cleansing. I'm going to use another cleansing foam as a second cleanse and the one that I'm absolutely obsessed with is this um, cleansing foam from Axis Y. Um, you can see that I've already used a lot of this right now. It actually just officially launched on um, August 18th, I believe. So it really hasn't been out in the market for long. But this big bottle only costs um, $12, which is very, very amazing because it is so calming and soothing. And usually I don't really um, use cleansing foams as much, but this cleansing foam was a big 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 game changer because it doesn't leave your skin really harsh or anything and i'll show you the texture because it does really truly just look like a cleansing foam but after i wash my face with this gently um, it leaves my skin feeling super calm and soft especially if you are suffering from mask me or other irritated skin um, right now and this is nice because it does have centella asiatica that is a great ingredient to help soothe and calm down your skin it also has green tea for the antioxidant properties and i've given this to my mom to use as well and my mom was so impressed that we just got another bottle for her to use by herself so it's like cleansing foam it doesn't foam up into bubbles as much it just like is a nice cleanser just to remove all of the last makeup on your face and after that i'm just gonna wash this off 
And after just one layer, it cleanses and washes up so, so, so easily. And once again, even if you touch it on your eyes, it doesn't irritate your eyes at all. Okay, now I really come to you completely bare-faced and I actually have like a pimple growing up up here under my nose, a little bit on my cheeks as well. So I think just like wearing masks and the humid weather has really been causing a lot of troubles for my skin. But even with the pimples, overall, I feel like my skin is pretty healthy right now. And I'm thinking that maybe KB. So I feel like just like getting pimples and acne and little breakouts here and there especially in the summer is completely inevitable for me i do have pretty sensitive skin um, and combination skin in the summer so that's exactly where the pimples and breakouts happen so it's right along here and here as you can see it's so apparent and lastly i'm going to go on with these um bare pads from just strip so just strip is a new korean skincare brand that has been started by the uh, most famous top makeup artist um son in park so it's another um brand by Sonic Park. I love the whole Sonic Park brand, their beauty water, everything by them. And I actually got this gifted and if you open it, it comes in like pretty big circular pads. And I think in Korea, these kinds of pads are extremely popular. You may have heard of like the Neogen pads, the Cosrx pads and all of that. So I'm just going to take one of these out. Um, I don't really use it as like a cleanser necessarily because I only use this to kind of really remove every single last dirt on my face. Gently exfoliate the skin but also this has ingredients to help clear and brighten up your overall skin tone as well. So after going with one of these pads, I truly feel so fresh. I feel like all the dirt that has accumulated on my skin is completely off. And also these pads are extremely moisturizing. Um, it's as moisturizing as the Costa Rex moisture pads, especially, but this is just like slightly bigger than that. And there's absolutely no skin irritation. So I actually like um, like going in with this over the parts that I'm breaking out, like my acne. Now after I go in with this, I even feel like the breakouts um, calm down a lot. I mean, like this part, that was, this is bleeding um, before I use this. So I kind of just like gently like massage that part over or breakouts. And I just love the natural glow that I get after just using one of these pads. Truly been obsessed with these. So after that, we are truly officially done with our cleansing routine. I am so clean and fresh. So now we have a good basis. Um, I just go in pretty simple with my whole skincare routine in the summertime. I don't want to overwhelm my skin with anything. So I'm just going to go in with the essence. You guys know I love the Misha Essence series. Um, the OG, the rice one has always been one of my favorites. Then they launched the new Red Algae Essence, which is also amazing. It's a very, very, very powerful antioxidant that helps to brighten up your skin and kind of give you more of like a lifted appearance. Um, and then when I came to Korea, I just got this Artemisa um, essence. And this is one that is made with mugwort. And I've been obsessed with mugwort lately in skincare. I mean, I love mugwort in food, but um, I'm just going on the whole mugwort trend right now. And I got this and I don't know guys, I almost feel like this is my favorite <laughs> essence out of all three of them, which is so crazy to me because I've been using the Misha Essence for like over five years now and I haven't used this one. I'm, first of all, I didn't really like the packaging, so I'm just going to go with the OG. Now that I use this, this one is actually the most moisturizing out of all three of them. Don't get me wrong, they're all very different properties, but I feel like this one is not only moisturizing, but it also um, really has those properties to help cool down, calm down your skin. And that's exactly what my skin needs right now. And I feel like I would use more of the Red Algae or the OG one um, in the drier months as like a nice prep um, method. Okay, so that's pretty much the essence. Because the essence is very hydrating, I don't have to go in with a toner after this. While the other two essences um, that kind of just use us as like the first care, first step and then going with another hydrating toner. I think I'm gonna stop it here, but I will be showing you guys and taking you guys around to Korea, Seoul, and all of the beauty skincare that is here. So if you do want to follow me along in my skincare journey and beauty hauls, then make sure to subscribe to my channel here below and also follow me on Instagram and TikTok at Glowadeva. All right, well, thank you so much for watching my little staycation skincare routine.